Right. Now he explained what it is really. Very brief. Uh, actually, we don't know what it really is. Uh, this is sort of amazing visions coming out of water surface. We cannot control 100%. I don't know what to say, the beauty of eternal beauty or whatever. Inspiration. Inspiration. <coughs> the technique what we call water surface. Every means water surface. The water is not just tap water. There is a gum. It's called gum tragacan. It's a wild grows in the mountain. A natural plant. So we keep this in water uh, and make a jelly water, a like thick water. The reason why we need thick water is to keep the design on the surface. This is the secret of this technique. This is ox gall, gallbladder from oxen. We have also now, but if you notice kind of, sort of bad smell, like that dead fish smell, it's come from this, not from us. <laughs> <laughs> so if you notice, this makes surface tension, keeps the color spread out. If there is no ox gall on those pins, the drop of color will sink to the bottom. Uh -huh. Also, the other important thing, ox gall keeps color separate. If I mix red and yellow in the jar, mm -hmm. which color should I get? Or orange. Or yeah. But on the tray. is always red, yellow is always yellow. Mm. The reason why we are using the thick water, it's able to design on it. Mm -hmm. If it is just tap water, still we can float the color on the water surface, but we cannot control the design. Is it gelatin in the water that you have? Uh, this is a gum. <coughs> This is the gum. It's a sap of a plant which widely grows in the mountain all over Anatolia. It's the family of Astragalus. The Latin name of this plant is Astragalus. This is a gum, a natural gum, mm -hmm. which has been used from ancient times. Even you can use for food, thickening of creams, natural. Or yogurt, has, lokum has this. Mm -hmm. so I think, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It soaks in water. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Yeah. From Arabic. It's an Arabic. Yeah. What is an Arabic? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not gum you know, Arabic. Like when you flip it around, look at the ingredients. Yeah, I thought you were saying it's Arabic. Not, it's, it's not the same plant. It's not. Gum Arabic comes from the big trees. Then I like just a piece of paper. Mm. As soon as the paper touches the water, mm. oh. 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 That's amazing. <coughs> oh. Is that a special paper? 
No, this is just ordinary offset paper. Is it because of this that it didn't all blend together when you pulled it up? Any absorbent paper is fine. That's okay. But of course we use much better paper for our artwork, which is but doesn't is it have this? Is it because of this that it doesn't all just run together when you No, because of this. No. This is the sticky stuff. Sticky, smelly stuff. <laughs> sticky <laughs> stuff. Yeah. What is the sticky Those colors well, are natural colors. traditional design. The first one we call it Batal. <coughs> this is called in English Turkish stone. This technique has started in Central Asia, travel to Iran and to Turkey, probably 12th century, we don't know exactly when, and then went to Europe early 17th century under the name of Turkish paper. Mostly book binders are uh, used in this thing. Uh, yeah. Yes. If you remember, the covers yeah. Yeah. and end papers. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Books in oh, wow. the 19th and 20th century. Wow. Mostly this design. Oh, this design was very popular. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> This design called Kong design. Kong, sure. <laughs> I don't know <need> much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and lying paper is, of course, very needs attention. Just holding two diagonal corners, starting on one corner, slowly rolling up on the surface till the end. You cannot put a sort of table cord. You may have air bubbles. Yeah. So, so this, yeah. We are going to do this. All of us. Hmm. Yeah. But you pull it up. Kind of. 